All right, Facebook Live, we have arrived. Hallelujah. One more time. Um, let's get ready. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Let's see here. Conference muted. Conference recording stopped. It ain't gonna let me record. I'm loud. <clears throat> JB Battle in the building. Uh, Charvet in the house. Cam Cold Nicole Bocatoa uh, or Bocatov, however you like your Hebrew. Or good morning. <laughs> yeah. Um. Shalom. Shalom. Let's get it in, y'all. I have a problem seeing this morning, but we're going to be all right. My eyes need to adjust. <clears throat> Let's get it in, y'all. Big Sean in the building. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Acts this morning. Spirit of the Most High, we love you. and Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Homies know how you heard all the prayers that went up before you. Um, I ask you to answer all the prayers. Uh, uh, to receive all the praise, all the praise reports, answer all the prayer requests according to your will, and send a relevant <laughs> word that we may grow thereby. We trust, believe, and thank you. In the matches name, you who shall have see us when we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all may. Let's get it in, y'all. Let's go. Uh, let's go to uh, Acts 21, 21 and uh, 9. Look what it said. It said, and the same man had, four, uh, I could have read up, y'all. Anyway, and the same man had four daughters' virgins, which did prophesy. And as we tarried there many days, there came down from Judea a certain prophet named Agabus. And when he was come unto us, he took Saul's girdle and bound his own hands and feet, and said, Thus said the Ruach HaKadosh, uh, So shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind... Son, son, watch what you're doing. And when, and when he was come in unto us, he took Paul's girdle and bound his, his, his hands and feet, and said, Thus saith the Ruach HaKadosh, So shall the Jews... At Jerusalem, bind the man that owns this girdle, and shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. And when we heard these things, uh, both we and they of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? For I'm ready not to be bound only but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Him, uh, uh, Sister Don, good to see y'all. <clears throat> and everybody else. I can't see everybody that's on here. But, uh, talk. Um, yeah. Um, good to see you on Al. Cam, um, we're in Acts, I just read Acts uh, 21, beginning at the ninth verse. <clears throat> um, you got, you got, um, you got people that love the most high and working for him. <clears throat> and I should have read one, one verse up, to be honest, you know, Philip the Evangelist. Um you know, had four daughters that were virgins and they prophesied, right? 
And then you had another man in Yah. They was wall to wall, tree top tall, wasn't it? And the prophet came down na named Agabus. And so you got all these people of the most high, and they're working for him. They're working for him. They love him. <clears throat> and, you know, they spent their whole life, uh, 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 seemingly anyway, I mean, whatever part of their life when they received them, they were serious about it. They weren't playing at all. They was about their they, they father's business. They didn't have all the distractions that, that, that we had. And so, um, you know, it really was about, you know, they, 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 they um, you know, their father's business. <clears throat> and so the, 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 the prophet took Saul, they call him Paul, y'all, took his girdle and, and, and tied, tied him up with it. And said, that's what they're going to do to you. You know, if you go and, and they're going and they're going to deliver you into the hands of the Gentiles, you're going to have some, you're going to have some issues. And when, and when <clears throat> we heard these things, both we and they at, of that place, we saw them not to go up to Jerusalem. They said no. And that's a sobering thought. They was like, no, listen. That don't mean you're satanic and not on the Most High's team. That don't mean they wasn't virgins and prophesying. That don't mean Philip was wrong. Nor does that discredit any of the other believers was in that place. They began to cry. <clears throat> Ain't nothing wrong with you uh, for being human but yet say see it's a blessing when your humanism don't run your life the problem is when people's humanism run their life because they definitely not versions for the lack of a better term <laughs> when your humanism run your life you, you're not you're not prophesying you you're proper lying because you're doing you but when you get all these distractions out of your way and you're really about your father's business. You're about kingdom building. You're about the, the saving of souls. Walking in the anointing. You have a human part that care. You care. Mean you against Yah. Because you care. Because you have feelings. So... The brother doing his job trying to warn him. He wasn't a hater. He was warning him. Good to see you on Carrie. Good to see you on Rhonda. Good to see you on Trenton. <clears throat> he was warning him of what would happen. And, and how did he know? Because y'all told him. So he was in sync. The most high is the one that told him. And because, you know, he told him, some people would believe, and I'm not going to call them religious right now, but some people would believe, why did you do that? You trying to, he trying to obey the most high. Here you come telling him something that can make it hard for him. That'll make him wrong to warn him. That's not wrong to warn him. He got, he got the information from the most high in order to warn him. He said, he, he bound his hands and his feet and said, thus says the Ruach HaKadah. See, he didn't say he said it. He said, Yah said it. So shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man that owns this girdle and shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. The Most High let him know. Good to see you on Jeremiah, Yahoo. <clears throat> and, and, uh, Called Don Dean. But it was the Ruach, it, it was the Ruach HaKadesh that revealed to Agabus what was going to happen to Paul, and he up under the leading of the spirit of the most high told him. And, 
and 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 when we when we heard these things, both we and they of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. Because they didn't want nothing to happen to him. They wasn't intensely trying to go against the most high. All I'm saying is they cared. They cared. We care. Straight up, we care. We got a job to do and our loved ones care. We got a job to do for the most high and sometimes that job can, you know, catapult one straight into to glory, for the lack of a better term, into the presence of the Most High. And when we heard these things, both we and they of that place, we saw them not to go. These is Yah loving people, Yah fearing people, that love the man of Yah, love the woman of Yah, love the things of Yah. But while we in this body, man, it, it, it get a little rough sometimes. It can get a little rough. Isn't it beautiful to be called out of the darkness into the marvelous light and be about your father's business? See, when you're not about your father's business, you're more, you know, messy, whole, whole, whole grudges, petty. But when you're about your father's business, it's a beauty in working for him, standing for righteousness. Um, the shift is here, and the shift switches us for real from from religion to relationship. We now can see clearly the severity and the seriousness of being saved. We now can see clear the choice to be made. It ain't time for like being bashful. Prior to the shift, we would shy away. Don't say nothing. Won't stand up for him and all that old types of stuff. But now, you should be sober-minded enough to be like these folk. I'm talking about the virgins that's prophesying and the prophet that's prophesying. And Saul, they call him Paul. Paul, uh, um, you know, you know, headed to Jerusalem do the will of the Most High. Folks traveling around, they not they it, you know the focus isn't on this life, on the movies and on designer clothes and on fat cars and on you know lavish trips and all that, lavish trips and all that. that that's not what it was about for them. They was about their father's business. I will say though that that real life, real fun is in y'all. Could you imagine being in a world where the the music is really magnifying him and that's all it is? Oh, you can get out there and dance. You can get out there and 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 romance and 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 ain't nobody hating, you know, ain't nobody dressed inappropriately and could you could you imagine something like that? Because how we used to have fun and celebrate just wasn't right. It's just wasn't right. You get to the core of certain things, you know. I don't, I don't, wait, why not? You know, like uh, the the origin of the birthday cake and the candle and, and blowing out the candle and the smoke going up. And it, 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 um, the system that we have been up under has a dual nature to it. You know, everything has been hijacked. It's painted over to be fun and festive like Christmas and Easter and uh, Valentine's Day and New Year's and all those things are painted up to be festive and we was having a ball with it. But if you go to the core of it, it's all Satanism. The names of the days of the week, the, the, the names of the months, just the, uh, this place has been hijacked. And, and that's just the truth. And so now that it's come to a screeching halt, we get to now see Hopefully, we get to now see that it was wrong. It's wrong. And what we thought was, ah, 
It's not that bad. Now we see it was. It is. <clears throat> but we get the opportunity to see it. So here it is. Paul is on his way to, to deal with some charges against him or going against their system, going against their religion. And these are serious charges. These are the type of charges that will cost you your life. But he was rolling with the most high. He, wa he wasn't tripping off his life like that. He was not tripping off of his life like that. He wasn't. So they start crying. Because they cared. So who answered? What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? Um, it wasn't as a sharp rebuke, at least it don't sound like it, and a sharp rebuke like the Messiah said to Kepha, they call him Peter, that the Messiah said to Peter, right? When he said, get behind me, Satan. See, he had to go to Jerusalem. You're going to make me look. Yeah, he had to go to Jerusalem. He had to go to Jerusalem, and he was going to be done, prior to Paul, he was going to be done the same way. And, and Paul said, no, be far from me, you can't go. And Peter told the Messiah, no, you can't go. And he said, get behind me, Satan, thou art offense unto me. Don't try to stop me from doing the will. I know what it costs. Heavy, heavy price, but we working for him. We were bought with a price. We stand for righteousness. We're freed from being afraid to do his will, to protect our job. Now, nah, ain't none for the most part. Even those that got them, they don't have them. <laughs> anyway. Shouldn't be nothing hindering us. We should be able to see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all the obstacles. <laughs> Gone now. There ain't no obstacles in my way. Unless it's us. Unless we have an evil spirit. You should be able to see now. Okay, wait until I'm done. Okay. We should be able to see clearly now. But he was ready to go. And they crying. And he knew. He knew it was rough. He already knew. And when we heard these things, both we and there that place besought him not to go, not to go. No, don't go. Don't go to Jerusalem. The most high already told you what's going to happen to you if you go. Then Saul answered, what mean ye to weep and to break my heart like this? For I am ready not only to be bound, but also to die in Jerusalem for the name of Yahushua. When you're a citizen of the Most High's kingdom, this place is not your home. When you're a citizen of the kingdom, you belong to him. You're a pilgrim passing through with a purpose-driven life. You, you're a man or a woman on a mission. Ch a kid, too. The, the, the four versions. You got young people that's going hard in the paint for them. That's sold out. That love him. Mm -hmm. It ain't just it ain't it just adults. Even the Messiah himself when he was little. Jeremiah when he was little. And so on and so forth. A whole lot of uh, 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 young folks running around here filled with the Ruach. With his spirit. That's willing to do his bidding and do his will. Where we at with it, y'all? Why are you breaking my heart? What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? For I'm ready not only to be bound. How many of y'all uh, 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 are ready to be bound if it come to it? 
and not only be bound, but also die. This is a terrible place. This is a wicked place here. To live is Yah, and to die is gain. To live here, we need to be about our Father's business. Good to see you on, Eddie. Long time, man. To live, to, to, to live here is for the most high. The foolishness is over. For those of us that belong to it. I'm trying to tell you something. That it's easy for us to read these stories and identify them to extract information to share with other people to encourage them in him. It's easy. We didn't even do that too good. Not as good as we should have, if you can be honest. But we plan to do better, right? But it's easy for me to sit in this chair and extract from this scripture. Because Paul, the one that had to go to Jerusalem, not me. A little different when I'm the guy on my way to Jerusalem. When you, the one that's on your way to Jerusalem. And in order for you to be on your way to Jerusalem with a state of mind, not only am I willing to be bound, but also to die, you'd have to be about your father's business. You notice he said, what mean you to weep and break my heart? For I am ready. That's the key. You got to be ready. Because some folks ain't. Then you got to regroup and get ready mentally. You got to prepare yourself for, for I would that this cup pass for me. I don't want to go through this. But not my will, thy will be done. You got to prepare yourself for that. You got to prepare yourself for the most high to have his way. For some of us, that's going to take a lot of fasting and praying, crying out. But that's, that, that's what it is. We got to be able to cast our cares upon him knowing that he cares. You got to know it. And then you got to say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to let him have his way. Um, spring break. What is that, man? But a bunch of naked people to make you want to have sex. You just look at that. You get a little drink with an umbrella in it. You know what I mean? You with your, you with your dudes, you with your girls. Mingling. Whatever. We said, ooh, we had a good time. It was nice weather. We had a good time. How y'all see that, though? How y'all see Vegas? I know I know how we saw it when we was in sin. All the lights and the drinks, the gambling and the smoke. Little bunny rabbits running around here. Balancing the little drink. Won't spill a sip, too. They do this big, strong wrists. Hips, strong, too. We thought it was nice, didn't we? But how y'all feel about it? We got folks calling on his name, participating in that activity. Well, all that's cut out now. Because we now have to be able to say, I'm ready. You, 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 cannot, you cannot handle what's over the horizon if you're not ready. You ain't got to get ready if you stay ready. We got to be about our father's business. We should have been. Should have been. We shouldn't have been on that mattress. We should have been about our father's business. We shouldn't have been sitting in with them. So this is sobering. One beautiful thing about this type of teaching at this hour, extracted from scripture, is so that we can get ready and we can comb through our mistakes, but it also reunites us with the greatest power that there is. And there ever will be. And that's the most high. And when his children come together on one accord. You mess around. And I, I, I got to tell you again. 2 Chronicles 7, 7 and 14. If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Humble means to submit. 
humble himself and pray. You submit it. You're done with that, that foolishness. Spring break. Mind it. You're done. I quit. Humble himself and pray. And seek my face. Now you're looking for him. He said he's going to hear. He'll hear from heaven. He'll forgive. You apologize. He said, I forgive you. I, I forgive you. And then he's going to heal our land. He turn around and forgive and heal. He gonna deal with the devil and his children on our behalf. And you can bet that because that's written too. Everything that's happening right now is written, but so is him coming to get them. That's written as well. Then Paul has. What me? Why are you? Why are you? I love y'all. You you breaking my heart. What mean ye to be weeping? Why? What are you doing to me? What are you, why? I know y'all love me. I love y'all too. But come on, I got a job to do, and I'm gonna do it. You ain't doing nothing but breaking my heart, cause I'm gonna go. What mean ye to weep and break my heart? For I am ready. I'm ready. Not only. You tripping off me going to be bound. Well, let me tell you something else. That ain't even it. I am ready not only to be bound. But also to die. At Jerusalem. Not for a woman. Not for a man, not for my money, not for my stuff, not for my pride. I'm a man. You don't talk to none of that. But for the name of the Messiah, the, the name of the Most High. You know the Messiah had the Most High's name. Yahusha means Yah is salvation. You know you know that the Messiah would quarter the, the Father's name. Did you? Did you know that? He didn't come in another name. He came in his father's name. He said, I come in my father's name. You receive me not. If another come in his own name, him you shall receive. He didn't come in his own name. He was named after his, the father. When the word, which, which is the father, the creator. Who what created? Wasn't it the word? Yeah. The father. What makes the word the father is because the word is what created. The father robed in that body. The body name was named after the spirit of the Most High. Yahusha, which means Yah is salvation. His name and what he came to do, Yahusha, is save us. And I thank him for it. And there's a work to be done. Mm-hmm. Let's stop breaking each other's hearts and spear it up. Ruah up. Ruah Hakadesh up. Up under the influence and the power of the Ruah. In conclude, I'd rather not be bound. I'd even rather not die. What makes it easier to die is we already dead. We were baptized into his death to rise up to walk in the newness of life. Rather not be bound, but we're already bound by the gospel. We're already bound by our king to do a work for him in these last and evil days. To eradicate sin because it's ugly. This place is an ugly place to live because of sin. Well, we ain't down with sin. We don't want to participate in the ugliness of this place. Not another day more. Are you ready? If you're not, get ready now. Is that all right? And be encouraged. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you humbly as we know how uh, gleaning in the truth of your word and your presence. For we love you and we need you in this hour. Um... Show up and show I'll do what only you can do. 
you know your word, you know your will, you know your will that you have for each and every one of our lives. You know personally. You know everything we're going to go through. You knew the ending from the beginning. Equip us with the power of your spirit to be kept through whatever you ordain for us. That we're willing participants like your son Saul. We love the body of believers that even care, even equip them for their assignment. For we all are called according to your purpose, to the saving of our souls. We celebrate the fact that you loving us like this and keeping us in a time that we probably would have believed we wouldn't be able to be, be able to be kept. But we're kept. We're kept by the power. By the power. You shower down the power. We're kept. The power of your ruach in this hour. Anoint our families. Even right now, anoint Israel. Anoint the body of believers right now. Go across the four corners of the earth and anoint your children. That we swell up and rise up. Uh, be the voices that you ordain in this hour, in these last and evil days. And we celebrate the victory in the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in all name. That was the lesson for this morning. We pray that you was encouraged to step up to the plate and knock the ball out of the park. Hit that joker and knock it out of the park. Is that all right? All right. That's one baseball game they didn't end. We're going to hit the ball out the park. If you are blessed by the lesson, feel free to push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as well. If you're a supporter of this ministry, I want to say thank you. If you'd like to become a supporter of this ministry, I can tell you how. You got the cash app. All you got to do is put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. Um, <coughs> yeah, income is funny for everybody. But if the most high leads you, um, to support, you know, the ministry still, or begin to cash out, dollar sign, Yahoo to Israel, Y-A-H-U-D-A-H, -H -A -H Y-I-S-R-A-E-L, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, pursuing who we're pursuing, in his name, uh, love y'all, um, y'all want to talk about the word, want to pray, feel free, all you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. All right, y'all? Y'all be Baruch. And Brock of Shalom, I'm gone.